this is Mr. Flackle, and today we'll be playing around with a program called OE Cake. OE Cake is a sandbox game, which sandbox games are a genre of games that don't really have a goal, or you don't really play to win something, you just have fun and be creative. Uh, anyway, I will provide a download link to OE Cake in the description of the video if you want to play along. Today I want to describe the inflow uh, property. Now, for those who haven't played OE Cake before, the inflow is basically like a miniature fountain that you can, that's water sprout out from it. Now, first let me describe how this works. When you ever use inflow, normally it would be best to use the hairline, uh, so you can make a thinner line and it can you can have more control over the property. If you create a single dot, nothing happens because it doesn't know where to go. Where you want the water to go is what direction the second dot would be in. Like I go, I went down, water goes down. It also goes in the opposite direction of that, so you can also go across like that. There are many things you can do with this. One thing I've noticed is if you create one that goes down and one that goes across, get that a little closer together. It creates a spinning effect. Or something close to it. There it goes. Something like that. Kind of looks like it's spinning. Now you can't really go across and down. Because if you do it, kind of messes up. As you can see. You have to have the across cutting through the down, not the down cutting through the across. Uh, another thing you can do is you can just uh, put a whole bunch of fountains in a line. if you space them apart better. You have to have them spaced apart. It's just to say that the ones that are really close together doesn't really work out. You have to have them spaced apart more. But it should have something that looks like this. It's going across. Which looks really cool. Uh, another thing. Uh, you can uh, cut across. And then go down. Space it apart enough. Should have several lines coming out the top there. Kind of like that. Now, another thing I've noticed that doesn't really have to do with the inflow property it has to do with pouring. Now, have pouring your drain on at the same time, but having drain on the whole time. Uh, but with this, if you create a wall cutting across here and then have a circular semicircle like thing coming across here, it creates a little vortex. Let's see, let me make that look a little better. And uh, in this vortex, of course, it spins. Uh, we can create a rigid sphere, and it should, for a small amount of time, stay within that vortex and not come out. They say it eventually comes out. Better way to demonstrate this is create a rigid axis, which spins as the vortex circles around. So that is all I've found recently. Uh, I'll be exploring some of the other properties later in other vids. Um, this has been Mr. Flackle with OE Cake, and I will see you next time.